guys, welcome to my brand new tutorial on the recommended defaults for Hypercam 3. Now, as you know, there has been issues on Hypercam 2 that the audio and the video is not synchronized. Now, um, this can be fixed, although um, I'm not on the same program. Download Hypercam 3, 3.3. Yes, okay. And you can get like a torrent for it or something like that, or just just get it, right? And then go to options, and then go into video, and yeah, of course, select record video. And for the video compressor, select uncompressed video, and do output format AVI, or you can do WMV. Well, I haven't tried WMV, but I recommend AVI. And for the rate in frames per second, choose record 40, playback should be 40, and keyframe every 100 frames. The output folder you can make whatever you like. Audio. Uh, if, if you want, record audio. But if you don't want to record audio, then skip this bit. But if you, if you don't want to record audio, then that's it, you're done. But if you do want to record audio, select record sound, select the, de select the device you want, select the source microphone, select the audio compressor, uncompressed audio PCM, output format auto or WAV, wave, whatever you call it, and do I uh, don't do an auto time audio time shift, you won't need it. Output do whatever you want. Extras, well, you don't really need extras, do you? You can do iconize to taskbar so that the Hypercam 3 window doesn't show up when you start recording. You can change the hotkeys to the same hotkeys that were in Hypercam 2 to make it easier for yourself. Switch pan block, I have no idea what it does, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, that's the that's the default settings for Hypercam 3.3. Now when you record, it should have synchronized audio and video when you record things. It might come out of sync when you pause the video for a while, but you can edit that out in video editing software, it's a very easy procedure. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you um I hope this video has come in useful to you. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video, or tutorial, or Let's Play a Spotter video. So, have a nice day. Goodbye. something I forgot to add into the video and um, if your videos are getting too high in size you can easily fix this by going to video and by reducing your record and playback FPS so like say 40 is you know too much you could bulk it down to like 30 25 that shouldn't take up too much space See? Look, 30 seconds is already 1 gigabyte. So, yeah. Let's have to cut down in space in your clips and hypercam frequency. You can do the same to other. You can do the same thing to other recording software, like Fraps. And in Fraps, you know that the yellow numbers at the top there. Yeah, in fraps they have high they have high file size and clips. You that's easily solved by reducing the FPS. So yeah. I hope this tutorial has come in handy to you all. Goodbye.